What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 mini PCs in 2020. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price, performance, or it's particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Our first pick of the day is Intel's NUC8 as our best budget mini PC. Essentially, this little computer is as good as it comes within this price point category, and although its specs aren't necessarily the strongest in the niche, it's certainly a versatile, well-rounded miniature PC. First and foremost, let's quickly go over the dimensions of Intel's NUC8 mini PC. Its dimensions measure 8.7 inches by 5.5 inches by 1.5 inches, and it weighs about 3 pounds in total. Surely there are lighter models out there, but on the flip side, it's not heavy per se. There are dozens of versions of the NUC8, ranging from the NUC8 3BEH to NUC8 V7PNH, each coming supplied with different features. Each model rocks a different GPU, a different CPU, but these mini PCs are also different in terms of connectivity. One of the best things about NUC8 mini PC is the amount of choices you will have at your disposal. Since there are more than 10 variants of this fine little personal computer, we'll compare the most expensive one, the least expensive one, and the setup in the golden middle. Basically, if you're really low on cash and are looking for a high quality mini PC, the NUC8 i3BEH will probably be the best choice for you. This setup features Intel's i3-8109U, 3.60 GHz dual core processor, Intel's Iris Plus graphics 655, HDMI 2.0A, and USB C graphics outputs, and it comes pre installed Windows 10 operating system in 64 bit. Although it's pretty basic, this setup is one of the best PC configurations for the price. The middle ground is found with NUC 8i7BEH. It's vastly superior to the 8i3BEH as it features a much stronger CPU and GPU, but it's also slightly more expensive. Essentially, this mini PC comes with pre-installed Windows 10 in 64-bit. It rocks Intel's i7-8559U 2.7 GHz quad-core processor that can reach up to 4.5 GHz with the turbo feature. Just like the previous setup, we see Intel's Iris Plus Graphics 655 GPU on board with the same connectivity, HDMI 2.0A and USB-C. If you're looking for a budget mini PC but don't mind investing a bit in it, we strongly recommend going with NUC8 Pro Kit NUC8 V7 PNH setup. There are a bit more options here in terms of pre-installed OS, Windows 10, Windows Server 2019, Ubuntu 18.04, a quad-core 1.9 GHz Intel i8-8665U CPU, as well as Intel's proprietary UHD graphics with two HDMI 2.0A ports, DP, and USB Type-C connectivity. Essentially, what some people don't like about NUC8 mini PC is the fact that you cannot cherry pick the setup. However, given the fact that there are so many variants to pick from, we dare say that this petite PC offers more versatility in terms of configuration options than any other budget mini PC. Many people spend most of their working days in front of their computer. If you're working from home, you probably have a desk that struggles to accommodate all the coffee cups, ashtrays, snacks, speakers, massive monitor, and your PC tower. So we suggest upgrading to a stick mini PC. One of the finest models that the market has to offer is Azul's Access 3, and we're here to tell you all about it. First of all, this is one of the smallest PCs out there, even by mini PC standards. Its dimensions measure 5.2 inches by 2 inches by 0.75 inches, and it weighs about 14.4 ounces, making it also one of the lightest mini PC models on the market. Don't let its size fool you into thinking that it's weak, it's quite the contrary actually. Basically, Azul's Access 3 comes outfitted with a bunch of gaming-worthy features, and everyone knows that gamers typically configure their PCs as if they wanted to launch space battles with them. The first notable feature of Azul's Access 3 is the quad-core Intel's proprietary Apollo Lake from the N34 series CPU. It's incredibly strong, and it complements all of the other features perfectly. In terms of storage, you'll be able to choose between 2, 4, and 6 gigabytes of RAM, and 32 and 6 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. If you're in need of more space, Azul's Inspire or Quantum Access might be able to help you out a bit more. There are three options for you to choose from in terms of the pre-installed operating systems, including Windows 10 Pro, the IoT, or Ubuntu Linux. Same as Azul's Byte 3 Mini PC. As far as connection goes, the Azul's Access 3 supports dual band 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and 5 GHz AC 3165 Wi-Fi, as well as gigabit Ethernet and Bluetooth version 4.2. 
Furthermore, you'll be able to use the two USB 3.0 ports and insert a micro SD card to enhance Azul's Access 3's onboard storage memory. This is one of the best performing miniature PCs available for the money, and one of the best things about it is that it's not even that expensive. There are no notable downfalls and drawbacks that you should be worried about other than the innate flimsiness of its construction. Next up is Lenovo's ThinkCenter M720Q, which is our best mid-range mini PC pick. Now for those prepared to pay a bit more for a mini PC, the ThinkCenter M720Q has plenty to offer. It packs a huge array of top quality features, its connectivity is absolutely amazing, and its tiny construction saves up a huge portion of your desktop space. First and foremost, let's quickly discuss the dimensions of this fine little PC. Its dimensions measure 7 inches by 1.4 inches by 7.2 inches, and it weighs roughly 3 pounds. Essentially, it's slightly bigger and just a bit heavier in comparison to our previous picks. Even so, it's obviously much lighter and smaller than an average PC setup. In terms of memory, the ThinkCenter M720Q offers 8GB of RAM and a massive HDD. Now, most people prefer SSD due to its immediacy in terms of loading time, but hard disk drives have their own benefits too. This mini PC C comes outfitted with Intel's i3-8100T 3.1GHz processor, which is quite surprising for a mid-range model. It's weaker than i5S and i7S, but it still does a fair job for the buck. Connectivity-wise, the ThinkCenter M720Q sports wireless 8265 and Bluetooth connection, but sadly the Ethernet port is not a part of this setup. On a bit brighter note, this mini PC comes outfitted with pre-installed Windows 10 Pro 64-bit operating system, which means that it's ready to be used straight out of the box. The only thing that we didn't particularly like about this mini PC is the selection of CPUs that are compatible with it. But luckily, you're free to choose from a couple of Intel cores. In fact, you can always upgrade this component if you ever need to. Overall, the features of ThinkCenter M720Q are pretty balanced and versatile, and even its weakest components are still far superior to most budget mini PC setups, so we highly recommend that you check out what it has to offer. Apple's PCs and laptops are among the best performing models on the market, there's not a speck of shadow of doubt about it, and what will probably excite most enthusiasts is the fact that they also offer a brand new mini PC version called the Mac Mini. Basically, the Apple Mac Mini is exactly what you would expect. It's a powerhouse stuffed in a petite, compact package that offers impeccable feature integration and optimization, just like its full-size counterparts. First of all, if you love Apple products, you are going to love how the Apple Mac Mini is designed. Its dimensions measure 8.1 inches by 2.6 inches by 8 inches, it weighs about 3.5 pounds, and it packs a highly durable, sturdy chassis that is capable of enduring years and years of use without fail. Some of the most notable key features of the Mac Mini include the quad-core or Intel i3 CPU, although you can also opt for the i5 variant for slightly more cash, rest assured both perform wonderfully for the money, even for the most demanding of tasks, such as gaming or music production. GPU-wise, the Mac Mini features Intel's proprietary Ultra HD Graphics 630. This is a relatively common feature in this price range that is meant to provide the finest visuals for movie watching, light editing, and similar applications. Furthermore, there are 8GB of DDR4 RAM for you to use, as well as ultra-fast solid-state drive, which basically means that you won't have to worry about storage one bit. As far as connectivity goes, Apple's Mac Mini casts a long shadow over the mini PC models we've reviewed so far. It sports four Thunderbolt, three USB ports, a single HDMI 2.0 port, as well as two USB Type-3 ports, Gigabit Ethernet port, and Wi-Fi support. Obviously, just like all Apple products, the Mac Mini comes with pre-installed version of the Apple's macOS operating system that offers free and instant updates, making it a future-proof investment. In terms of raw performance, you can probably find mini PCs with a bit stronger CPU or GPU, but we dare say that you will have a hard time finding a more balanced or more versatile model than Apple Mac Mini. Finally, we've come to our best overall pick, which is HP's Z2 Mini G4 Workstation. This is not only the best rounded mini PC that money can buy, but it's also among the best performing powerhouses available. As always, HP offers a plethora of customization options, allowing you to choose the key features, CPU, GPU, and such. You can choose between Windows 10 Pro Workstation 64, Windows 10 Pro 64, and Windows 10 Home 64 operating systems, although HP recommends going with the basic Windows 10 Pro 64-bit version. It supports Linux and RHELOS types too. Processors that are at your disposal are in abundance, ranging from Intel's Exeon E2286G over E2224G to the premium Intel i9-9900K CPU, which is one of the currently strongest processors available on the market. It is up to you to decide whether you'll go with integrated Intel, UHG GPUs, P630, 630, or 610, or with NVIDIA, AMD, or HP's proprietary graphics cards. In terms of memory, the mini PC supports up to 64GB of DD 
DDR4 RAM and up to 2 terabytes of SATA HDDs. Of course, SSDs are also an option, but they're a bit more expensive. Lastly, the connectivity of this PC is astounding. It rocks a plethora of USB, I.O., module, and expansion slots, ensuring that you can wire up pretty much everything and anything to it. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.